What's up, everybody? and Welcome back to the Nab and Row Show. I'm here with my compatriot and partner in crime, Row. Say hi, Row. Hello, kids. And welcome to our next podcast. So, what are we talking about this week, Row? Vacations! Yay! Woo! And specifically, not just vacations. We're also going to talk about just traveling in general. So, favorite places to go and all that good jazz. So. <laughs> So before we do that, you talked about where you live. So I'm kind of curious, what are the unique spots where you live? Kind of in the the area to go, like, you know, those hidden jewels. So I live in Oregon, if you are new to our podcast. Uh, Oregon is an amazing place to visit. Uh, Very lush, very green. It does rain a lot, but we are very fortunate in the fact that we have... um, a lot of camping and we live on the coast so we've got many beaches and coastal towns that you can visit and we've got um, a lot of mountains that are within the area that you can ski and visit and do all that fun jazz in so it's uh it's a great place to live lots to do so you said it's very lush are you guys big drinkers then no <laughs> oh i'm so funny. we've got trees you, we've, got, <laughs> we've got trees. <laughs> oh, and man. forests. Yeah, so Cincinnati, Ohio, that's where I live. That's where Nap lives. And um, a couple of the unique things about Cincinnati is it is one of the more hilly places in Ohio. And if you know anything about Ohio, there is farmlands. That's that's basically it. You go anywhere else, the only mountains you see are man-made mountains or hills. So, But Cincinnati is lucky enough that we actually do have a lot of hills, mountains, stuff. Well, not really mountains, but a bunch of hills, mm-hmm. which is a, a nice change. But there are some unique spots. Like, uh, we do a lot of canoeing around here. Mm-hmm. So, like, uh, the Little Miami River is a big place. There's a spot I go with friends where there is a, a little rapid section. There's a deep section to swim, a rope swing, mm-hmm. all that jazz. It's like a little tiny sandbar you get to go not really the middle of the of the, the stream but kind of near the side or the side there's like a little inlet that comes around it so it's like you're on a sure. little tiny island which is kind of fun and then we yeah. have uh well just because i like outdoorsy stuff so camping is a big thing here mm-hmm. and we have uh a boat that i take out on east fork lake or lake harsha so those are my my favorite kind of places to visit i mean obviously during the summer there's not a whole lot well Correction, winter, we have a ski hill close to us. It's called Perfect North Slopes, and they have uh, a tubing that is always fun. So get a bunch of friends, drink mm-hmm. some water, <laughs> and go tubing. <laughs> quote, quote. Quote, unquote, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it's it's definitely, definitely a lot of fun there. But where have you been outside of Oregon? So if you were to say, what are the best places that you've been? What's that route? Okay, so I am a person who has never been outside of the United States. Uh, I do not own a passport, although I really want to go visit Canada, so I guess I should probably get on top of that. Um, But I've been to Disneyland a few times down in California, Uh, you know, visited Universal Studios and Knott's Berry Farm, all the fun little amusement parks down there. And then um, I've been to Disney World a couple times, did Epcot. Animal Kingdom, all those affiliated parks over there. Um, I've also been to Reno and Las Vegas, and that is about it. Oh, so you've stayed pretty much within like a yeah. two or three state close to Oregon. For the yeah, most part. well, and, and you know, I'm one of four kids. It's, you know, six people traveling is, is expensive. Um, and, and my parents did a good job of... Um, taking us to the fun places <laughs> that are very kid and family oriented, um, that are kind of must must see things to do in your life. Um, you know, so we did the Disney World, Disneyland thing. But the thing I appreciate about my parents is that when we did do family vacations, and we did them a lot, we would go camping into the beach, you know, two, two or three times a year uh, growing up, if not more. Um, just because we have it in our backyard, so there's really no no reason to travel far for for any of that. Um, but the biggest thing that I appreciate out of our family vacations was the fact that um, you know we may not have traveled outside of the state um, 
to do these wonderful things, but we were able to bring friends and extended family, like my grandparents came and we had aunts and uncles and cousins that come. So if you factor all of that into like, say flying to Disney World or something, it gets really expensive. So the memories I have of, of our family vacations weren't just my, you know, my little family. It was with my grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles that were able to come and hang out with us. So it, it you know, it, it outweighs the whole like spending lots of money to go to a fancy place for a short amount of time. Yeah, no, absolutely. So, I mean, I'm a little bit on the other stick of things. I have been a very, as you said, the last podcast, uh, a very worldly <laughs> traveler. Yes. Um, but, I mean, you know, I th- contribute that thanks mostly to my parents, you know, my mom and my dad. My dad had a great job and he was able to get us kids out, my brother, my sister and I, out and visit some really cool places. So like the top best places that I've ever been and the list is kind of big, but not really. I'll just hit a few of the, the big ones. England, France, Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Italy, Japan, Australia, the Caribbean Islands, cruise, you know, Uh, Vancouver Island, which was my father and my son and dad trip, you know, father, son trip. So we went there, we went whale watching, saw, you know, pot of six (laughs) killer whales. It was awesome. It was really cool. And then, uh, Canada, you know, see a certain places. I've been really into Canada. I like you, I would love to go venturing into Mm -hmm. Canada, like deep Canada. Um, Then Alaska, my brother lived there, so I was able to go there. Uh, luckily enough, I had an, an aunt and uncle that lived in Hawaii, so I was able oh. to spend a week there. <laughs> and obviously just places all over the United States. I mean, I've been everywhere in the United States, except for a couple places like the Dakotas, Oregon, places like that. <laughs> <clears throat> but, you know, it's it was fun. And like I said, yeah. I think, well, I guess now I can also thank my job for sending me a lot of places, which is pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. you know, my father really wanted to make sure that we were out and about doing stuff and things. And, sure, and sure. so we did. And it's it's great. But I will tell you, I value a good old-fashioned road trip more than anything else. Oh, yeah. Those are fun. Definitely fun. I'm not a huge fan of flying. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. <laughs> you have to flap your wings harder, Ro. I know. I know. Um, but, yeah, road trips are way fun. I totally enjoy them. Um, as long as you had some good scenery on the way yeah, uh, like, driving from from portland to to la is is no fun very <laughs> once you hit california it's just nothing looking <laughs> um nothing against california by any means but uh, yeah. not, not a lot not a lot to look at from <laughs> half the way there yeah, it's like uh, going through ohio you have is like i said cornfields farmland stuff like that yeah I would, yep. for example, if if I were to find a place to live, I'd want to be surrounded by trees, maybe have a river or a small stream somewhere, mountains in the background, you know, something like that. Yeah. That well, is ideal place. You should move out to Oregon because yeah. there's <laughs> lots of that here. <laughs> oh, you know, I'll look into that row. Oh, maybe I'll Yeah, work. you we'll should. See. Maybe we yeah. can be neighbors. <laughs> yeah, well, It'd make I, this podcast a lot easier. <laughs> oh, that's true. But I will tell you, if I'm buying land and I'm buying a place, it's going to be at least 50 acres plus with a house smack dab in the middle. I'm not going to have neighbors. That's all I'm saying. Well, you can have a little shack for me, like on the furthest corner of your uh-huh. acreage and oh come on now we'll build you at least a cabin okay. now come on <laughs> i don't need anything big it's just yeah. me and my cats <laughs> like a, a one-room studio cabin you got a fireplace yeah. and stuff you'll be good yeah. exactly perfect <laughs> less yeah. to clean <laughs> yeah so all, of all the places you've been what is your favorite place that you've been or or whatever that you, that you would like to visit again and again and again. Uh, so the beach is my happy place, and we go there at least once a year. That's like the one place my entire family can agree upon going as a group. Which you know, it's hard to to nail down a a good place when you have multiple people involved. Um, but we we rent this beach house at least once a year that we've rented since I was in like elementary school. Um, and that is my happy place. It's a big house right on the beach. You can walk right down to the sand and it's big enough to encompass my entire family. And, and that's, it's important. It's nice. Although if you're talking about out of state, I would probably have to say Epcot uh, oh, in yeah. Florida was probably my, I, I really enjoyed venturing into all the different countries that they had there. And, uh, 
when we went, I remember our waitress uh, was a super nice young lady, and she was from Switzerland. 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 Yeah, yeah. And she was talking. Maybe it was Sweden. Hmm. Sweden. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> One of the two. Anyway, uh, she was telling us that they have a program there for um, people who are, you know, like in college from other countries or whatever. And they have some sort of program that uh, they come over to Epcot for, you know, like a six month period or whatnot. And they work as um, waitresses or entertainers. I don't know. Whatever spiel they do with that particular country um so you get a real authentic person from right. that country that tells you all about everything or you know if you have any questions or anything so that was really cool i, I really enjoyed because it was like i could visit multiple countries but i didn't have to fly there i only had to fly once it was great <laughs> oh well that's nice yeah. So the beach you talked about earlier, that is on the, the coast, on the Pacific coast, mm -hmm. right? Correct, you know, yes. Obviously. <laughs> is there like a specific <laughs> beach you go to? Uh, we go to Lincoln City. Okay. Uh, it's it's a, a well-known one. Uh, there's a few that are pretty well-known. Uh, I just like Lincoln City uh, because it has a lot of features like movie theaters and bowling alleys and libraries like it, it i mean it is legit a city but it's got more than just like one restaurant and one light i mean just you can actually function in the city it's not just a vacation town if that makes sense yeah absolutely so yeah so we go nice. for at least a week so uh and it rains so it gives us an opportunity to do things if it's raining instead of spending time on the beach you know we can adventure out and and do other things um but a lot of a lot of the the coast there you know seaside is another popular one uh cannon beach in coos bay is is good too and it's it just all around the coast there's a lot of wonderful little nooks and crannies of, of vacation uh and beach towns along the coast it is a lot colder than uh the east side <laughs> um, oh yeah we well, have yeah, so the breeze it, coming it, it, in yeah yeah exactly so a lot of people don't they're like the beach what you know they think of sun and hotness and whatever and palm trees and, and we don't have those but it's <laughs> great nonetheless we have we trees whales, whales and trees yeah everything you know <laughs> so it's good it's all encompassing <laughs> that's fantastic so my place that i would go so my family's had a, a condo down on this island marco island we've had a mm -hmm. condo down there for gosh 20 plus years longer than that. my my parents and grandmother own the condo um but it's like another home to me Mm -hmm. I don't care if it's in the heat of the summer. I mean, we're talking the very southern tip of Florida. You can go on the west coast without being in the Everglades. It's way mm -hmm. the heck down there. But right. all different spots there, like Tiger Tail Beach, which is fun to go to. There are, you know, I know the routes to take a boat through the channel, through the mangroves, to go there, mm -hmm. see dolphin, I've seen jellyfish, you name it. I mean, it's... It's a blast. There are different places to go kayaking through there. There mm -hmm. is uh, another fun thing. When you're down there, there are these uh, swamp boats. You know, the big fan boats have the giant fan on the oh, back yeah. and it pushes yeah, you yeah. through. Mm -hmm. Those people know how to drive those suckers. And we're talking <laughs> limited space, giant boat going through these. I mean, it holds like eight people or something like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But it's absolutely fantastic. And, you know, unlike you, where you're going to see some waves being on the Pacific coast, mm -hmm. it, for us to see waves, there has to be like a hurricane pretty mm, much mm -hmm. on the Gulf Coast, right. you know. I mean, there have been small waves before, but it's not that bad. But I kind of like it. It's more relaxing. It's calm. Mm -hmm. You can go down there, throw Frisbee. It's uh, a shell beach because mm. the the old the natives of Marco Island, the Native Americans down there, I believe there are stories that Marco Island was actually founded or, or formed by the Native Americans taking shells and keep dumping them in the same place, and eventually they made a giant island. Oh, interesting. At least that's what it is. I could be completely mm -hmm. wrong, but that's what I was told. Sure, sure. So, but it's so it's beautiful. It's a nice place to go. It's yeah. quiet. It's not too crazy. It's not one of those mm -hmm. overly touristy, full of people vacation spots. Right, right. You know, well, you, sounds great. Yeah, I go. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. A road <laughs> trip, road trip. Yay. But yeah, for you, God, what would it be like? Three days? Uh, that would be ridiculous. Goodness gracious, yeah, it's like opposite would... sides of the country. 
I would suck it up and just fly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. But the good thing is, um, if you guys ever uh, heard of our other buddy that we had, Marshall, he lives down there in Naples, which is about 25 minutes north of my condo down there in Marco Island. So, I mean, that's another reason I love going down there because I got friends in low places, you know? That's, yeah, that's definitely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could hit two birds with one stone there. Uh, that's right. And don't forget Actually, Casey. Three. Casey's yeah, down three. there, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I go visit my boys. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you could move anywhere, you talked about all these awesome places you'd like to visit, places mm-hmm. you've been, but if you could actually move to anywhere in the world, Let's say country. We'll just say within the U.S. Because greatest country in the world. I'm not going to leave here. I'm just saying. But right. Where would you want to go? I would go to England. Oh, you would go to England. I would. Just because I don't like hot places. I don't. And and I really I really enjoy the rain. So where I live is, is a perfect perfect place. The Pacific Northwest is, is perfect for me. Um, I would move to England just because I... I <laughs> I love a good accent to begin uh-huh. with. You're um, a sucker for a good accent. I, I totally am. Uh, but yeah, I would I would move there. I, I feel like the climate uh, is the same. Uh, I enjoy the rain. I enjoy the accents. And I, I just enjoy the history of what England has to offer. Yeah. Uh, you know, United States is, is relatively new compared to other countries right. uh, with their historical thing. And, and I'm, I'm a sucker for a good castle story and and you know queens and kings and all their story and hullabaloo that comes with that so um i i feel like i would just immerse myself in the history of what england is and uh really enjoy it because they've got some great castles and it's dreary over there which i like so yeah can you imagine our little row coming back from england with a lovely <laughs> british accent i mean it would be quite nice uh, i'm not even gonna try a british accent because apparently i sound horrible so. <laughs> well th- you know that's something to practice we're gonna do a whole podcast in an accent oh geez just, i'll just stick with my tea and crumpets yeah. and <laughs> move on <laughs> that's right so if I were to go anywhere, honestly, see, that's where my, you know, I love my country mentality comes into play. I want to visit a lot of places, but if sure. I were to move and live someplace, it would have to be in the mountains somewhere with a lot of land, you know, where it's flat a little bit, but you have like mountains in the background, maybe, gosh, I don't know, Colorado seems like a good spot to live. Hmm. I've been to Oregon, so I don't know. But, you know, hmm. just like I described what I wanted, something mm-hmm. along those lines. Wherever I find that, somewhere in the United States. Sure. That's kind of my thought Sounds process. Great. Yeah. All taxes, politics, all that crap aside per state, just looking for the piece of property, the land where I'd want to live. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I love living in Oregon. I would never move. I mean, I'd, I consider moving to probably Washington just because it's about the same. Yeah. Um, but if I needed to move outside of the U.S., I think I think England would be where it's at. Yeah, I, I heard you try to do an accent. I heard it. <laughs> you tried to squeak it out there. I tried. Oh, I goodness. Well, I'm proud of you, Rex. You did really good. <laughs> so Thanks. recently, where have you gone? Where have you traveled as of late? Um. Well, I like I said, <laughs> I don't travel much. Um, but every October we go to the beach house that I've I've mentioned uh-huh. uh, in Lincoln City. So that's that's a staple for our family. Um, I do know. I think we're planning on going camping this summer. Um, oh hey, yeah we. So, side note. Uh, Oregon has some old um, batteries. When Pearl Harbor Harbor happened, um, you know everybody was heightened, especially on the West Coast, and um, a lot of little uh, batteries were stationed and built along the coast uh, for an appended attack, uh, essentially oh, wow. after Pearl Harbor. So, uh, what's really nice is we have some history left of these old batteries that um, you can actually tour and stuff, and and one of them couple of them actually are adjacent to uh, some of our state parks here for camping um, and so I think we might be going to the Astoria area and um, the summer to to camp and and they have tours and stuff in these old batteries and they're really interesting if you ever get an opportunity to you know come out here and 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 visit one of those places definitely uh, the money to take the tour and it's not super expensive um, it's definitely well worth it because they take you like underground to where they housed the cannons and oh, showed cool. you like how they would hoist these 
gigantic cannons up and and you get into these rooms and it's all cement and it's just it's amazing it's just you know very interesting and so i think we'll probably go there um my most recent trip outside of the state was to reno uh, my brother and sister-in-law got married um, a couple of summers ago and they got married in reno so we flew out there um there you but go yeah, I, i'm I, I i'm a homebody i stick to my state <laughs> <laughs> well but good yeah, that's the most recent that's the most recent <laughs> yeah hey reno's good yeah. take that all day every day yeah right <laughs> so as you know i've been traveling like crazy Mm-hmm. So I work in the veterinary industry, and um, it's not just that. So my my brother, sister, and I, we went to this was a, what was it like a month in a week yeah. ago or something like that. Went yeah, to something. Nashville yeah. the first time. Two, four weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we went to Nashville, came back, flew out, went to Orlando for a vet conference, flew back, worked a week, and that weekend went to Nashville again to visit my brother in law. Came back, and that next week went to or where where the heck did I go? Uh, Arizona. Orlando, Orlando. That, Arizona. That's right. Sorry. Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. Phoenix, Scottsdale. So just on the east side of, of Phoenix, went to Scottsdale. And then I was here another week. And then tomorrow at like six in the morning, I fly out of Cincinnati to go to Las Vegas. So then that will be the end of my traveling for a while, hopefully. Yeah. Minus, you know, driving little places to see friends and whatnot like that. But, sure, but sure. travel, 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 that is going to be it. So <laughs> the last thing I want to throw out there, Ro, and if you were to say, besides England where you'd want to live, what's the one place overseas that you really want to visit? And you can't oh. say Canada. Like, I'm talking, like, overseas. <laughs> overseas. Canada's too close. And England doesn't count. No. Um, I... That's a tough one, isn't it? It is. It is. I mean, there's so many different options. I mean, I have a really good friend uh, that lives in Israel, so that might be an option. And he just had a baby a few months ago. Perfect. Um, so that would that would be a fun a fun trip, uh, definitely. But I've always wanted to go visit Australia too. There you go. Uh, so land down under. Yeah, probably one of those one of those places would probably. Be in contention. <laughs> yeah, and, and we've already kind of talked about this. Why I put stipulations not Canada, England. You already talked about that, blah, blah, It's because I, ha- I, I have this huge urge of one place I really, really, really want to visit. I want to go to Scotland. I want to go to the mm-hmm. Scottish mm-hmm. Highlands. I want to go over there. Mm-hmm. If I could live there for a year, mm-hmm. delve into the, to the culture over there, get mm-hmm. the thick accent to come back, I would be tickled to death. <laughs> I well, love the British Isles accent. are are something. You know, if you're in England, I mean, Ireland and Scotland or in yeah. Wales are all like the British Isles. I mean, I would live in England, but I would definitely want to visit all the uh-huh. all those countries too. Um, but then, you know, thinking too, if, if you take a vacation over there, and what's mind blowing to me, and that's just because I haven't really ventured outside of the United States, but there's so many countries. I mean, you're like, yeah, I'm going to start in England. And then like 30 minutes later, you could have passed through like three other countries or something. (laughs) Or, you know, like you could just traveling and say, yeah, I've been here and here is way easier over there Uh than over here because, you know, there's more countries. It's like a small cluster of countries. That's what you basically Yeah, exactly. It just blows my mind that you can visit like five different places in like five hours. It's like, whoa. Yeah. We're all like, yeah, I can go to five states. Yeah, that's great. Good story. Good, good I'm story, still in bro. One country here. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, guys. Well, hey, thank you for listening. I know this is a little bit shorter of a podcast, but we just wanted to talk a little bit about travel because I've been traveling a ton, and I know Ro hates yeah. flying. I tell her to flap her wings more, but she won't. <laughs> flap, flap. <laughs> but yeah, I know. But that is going to be the end of the podcast. I want to thank you guys so much for listening. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, tell your friends about us. And as always, this video is a wrap. Till next time, kids.